Hey everybody, welcome back to the Arm Scotsman. Today we're just going to go over some of the upgrades I've done to my Tipman M422. Let's get this going. All right, folks, as I said, we're just going over some of the upgrades I've done to my Tipman M422. The full review was out a few weeks ago. Check, go and check that out if you want to see it. Um, but yeah, let me just go ahead and start at the back here. Um, we It does come with a very kind of standard, typical M4 buttstock. Like this is actually the one that came with it, branded Tipman. Um, I switched that out, obviously, and I put a Magpul stock on the back here. This is not the CTR stock. This is this just the level down. Um, I really like the color, works great. I actually had this on my Smith & Wesson uh, 1522, um, but the Tipman is actually going to replace that as my main 22 um, AR. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so, so I put on this Magpul stock. Uh, moving down, you'll notice that I put on this grip. This is the Magpul K2 Plus grip. I really like the angle of these, has a little rubber overmold, and obviously furniture matches. Um, K2 Plus grips are my favorite on the market. Personally, I mean, I just really, really like them. I'm a huge fan. Now, moving on up, we actually, I actually switched out the, the safety. Now, the safety that comes with the Tipman is this. It's actually plastic, which I didn't point out on the actual full review video, which was interesting because the gun's all aluminum, but they had a plastic safety. I thought that was interesting. But either way, um, I switched it out for an ambi safety. This is the Radian uh, safety, ambi safety right here. And I've got it at the 45 degree short throw. Um, so I love ambi safeties. They just make sense to me. So I did change that. Awesome upgrade. Very happy with it. Another thing I changed out was the trigger. It comes with kind of a standard mil spec kind of trigger is the best way to describe it. Nothing wrong with the trigger. I just like nicer triggers. So I'm trying it out. Normally I go with Geisley triggers, but I don't want to put a Geisley in this one. I'm actually trying out a Timney uh, drop-in trigger. It's kind of the cassette tape trigger. And, and then I put in these anti-walk pins. So the trigger is nice. It has a three and a half, four pound break at single stage. Um, there's literally no take up. Well, take that safety off. And right, you're right at the wall. Very nice, clean break. And then you've got the reset. Very, very short. Very tactile. Nice trigger. I bought it for like a hundred bucks. Um, I like it so far. Um, so yeah, no complaints there. It, it's been it's been great. Um, now moving on up. One of the other things I changed was the charging handle. Um, again, this is what it comes with. Very reminiscent of an M4 kind of charging handle. Um, actually, if you just kind of looked at it like that, you would think it is an M4 charging handle, but obviously it's a little shorty. Um, plastic polymer. A little difficult for me, like I just like the extended um, latches on ambi safeties, uh, so that's why I changed this out. So it's ambidextrous, it's got the extended safety, uh, excuse me, it's got the extended latches, there's grooves on the inside, there's grooves on the outside, so like if you're <clears throat> if you're grabbing it, you know, on the outside with, with a thumb or something, I don't know, you've got those ridges, gives you a little bit of grip, um, and it is a aluminum charging handle. Um, I think that for me, um, this is one of the the best upgrades to do it. I just really like ambi charging handles and it just makes life so much easier grabbing that. So a big, big fan. So I bought the FDE mags. It comes with one uh, black FDE mag, excuse me, one black 25 round mag. Um, but I bought these FDE to go, just aesthetics, to go with uh, the furniture. I think it looks pretty cool. So I picked these up. They're, these were actually surprisingly really hard to find. Um, so they were out of stock in a lot of places, but um, I bought a bunch of those to use in here and they've ran great. Moving up to the top, you know the iron sights come with the gun. Um, that they actually came standard, which is really nice. And I mentioned before, this is just a hollow sun. This is the HS403R for rotary. It doesn't have a um, solar panel up here, anything like that. It just runs on batteries. I've had this for a few years. It's getting pretty beat up. Runs great. Never had any problems with it. Um, so I do like that. So that's going to stay on here. Uh, moving up. Now this was just, um, I kind of like to put my hand out and have this in here. Not that this has any kind of recoil, but just on a, again, this is more of a training tool for me. So I'm trying to make it more similar to my current air setups and I have a hand stop on all of them. So uh, not this particular BCM, this is a BCM um, hand stop right here. So I put that on, I do like it. it, just makes my grip a little better. On the other side, 
I added a QD sling mount right here because there's no, do, no there's no QD sling mounts upon the rail and I'll add probably a Vickers tactical sling. I use that in all of my other ARs. Um, there is no QD sling on back here so I'll just throw it through the OG school, uh, OG, uh, school attachments right here and then I'll throw a QD sling mount on the other end um, on there. So. Uh, very nice. And then we just have my dead air mask up here. Um, this will be staying on here. It just you know, obviously it comes with the A2 birdcage, um, half by 28 threads. Uh, I took that off and this suppressor actually sits on here permanently for the moment. Um, so yeah, so that's I think all the upgrades I did. Um, curious on your guys' setups. Anything you think I should throw on here that I haven't that you guys really liked and maybe I should try out, uh, let me know down below. But that's it, just a really quick one. And uh, that's it, folks. Until next time, I'll catch you later.